what's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, in this video let's uh, i may already made a lot of videos about uh, flutter and firebase in this channel right i have made videos on how to bring in firebase inside your flutter applications and how to use that firebase uh, backend along with your flutter applications to create some basic applications and all that so uh, ever since this android x update was released and a uh, lot of plugins didn't work with the uh, uh, Flutter framework. A lot of people have been asking me how to fix that, especially for uh, Firebase, Cloud, Firestore, and other plugins. Now, in this video, I'll show you a quick fix. Okay, uh, that you can use right now to uh, make uh, Firebase authentication and Cloud Firestore work along with your Flutter applications. I also wanted to make an announcement, but probably that can wait. I'll do that at the end of this video. So yeah, let's get started, guys. First, I have a blank application that I have scaffolded here. This contains nothing but a button in the center that says login that's it so first i'll go ahead and uh, install okay these are the two plugins that will be you will be mostly using uh, when it comes to firebase right i'll save this save this it will just pick up the latest versions if you don't specify a version number now that that's done uh, let me go ahead and bring in uh, firebase inside this project getting into android source android manifest.xml taking the package id one more thing uh, when you are writing a production application uh, kindly remove this com.example and then add something else okay otherwise while uh, publishing it on play store it will throw up an error saying that you can't do that with uh, com.example or something so i'll just go ahead and add an application here android give the thing here register app download google services.json file once this is downloaded i'll just go ahead and place this inside my app directory in my project right i have pasted that uh, google services.json as you can see here and uh, now let me get back to uh, the app as you can see here it's the google services.json file is here right now just to open build.gradle Usually what you would do is just open build.gradle and uh, inside this you need to add multidex enabled true, right? Something like that. True. And uh, you also need to add, you need to apply this plugin. Fine. Now open the build.gradle file at the inside the Android directory. This was inside the app directory, right? So open the build.gradle file inside the Android directory. And here you need to add a few more uh, uh, stuff. And uh, yeah, that's about it, right? Yeah, that's about it. So this is usually what you do while you try to work with, uh, I mean, while you try to bring in Firebase inside your Flutter applications. Let's save this, get back to what we are doing in main.dart file. Upon tapping this login button, I should be logged in inside uh, and the home page should be shown. That's exactly what I'm trying to do here. So I'll go ahead and create another folder which has services. And inside this, I'll create a file called authmanagement.dart. And here I'll simply add, this is a class. Uh, this is nothing but an API file, okay. Fine, as you can see here, once the user is signed in, he'll automatically be redirected to uh, home page. Now here I'll write it as, uh, home page contains nothing but a text, but here I'll do uh, auth management dot, uh, dot Fine. Uh, now we have an application that will uh, that upon once I mean uh, which will have a button at the center. Upon tapping that button, you should be logged in and taken to the home page. That's it, right? We have added Firebase to uh, as a backend to this Flutter application. Now, if you run it, uh, let's see the error that occurs. Let's see if any error occurs at first. All right. Now, as you can see here, uh, we get an error, right? We get an error, right? 
So how are you going to fix this? This is the error that most of the users get when they try to replicate what I have done in my uh, Flutter and Firebase videos. So yeah, I'll show you a quick fix. Okay, quick fix for that. That's the reason why I wanted to show you this error as well before fixing it. Now, what you need to do is get back into app uh, build.gradle file. Here, what you need to do is just follow these steps. There is this version, right? Target SDK version. Change it to 28. Okay. And uh, the minimum SDK, compile SDK version, here also change it to 28. Okay. And uh, get into gradle.properties. There is this one single line, right? Just add uh, these two more lines. Fine. You added these two more lines, right? The original idea here is to migrate your project to Android X is to open uh, the project in Android Studio, guys. If you have Android Studio 3.2, version 3.2 or above, just open this Android directory of your project in that Android Studio. And then uh, there will be an option to migrate the project to Android X. Okay. Since this is a quick fix, I'm showing this in the video. That's it. Okay. No other uh, stuff. But if you want to migrate your uh, Flutter app project to Android X, that's the way to do it. Okay, I'm being clear about that. Now, uh, now that you have added this, and once again, what I said, this 28, you need to change this to 28 as well. Save this, save this as well. Now let's run it and see uh, what happens. Fine, as you can see here, the issue is now fixed and the app is running fine, right? So yeah, this is one way to overcome the uh, Android X issue, guys, and get your apps running with Firebase, uh, inside your Flutter applications. Now, if I just tap on this login button, it's taking me to the hello world, uh, which is what I wrote here. Oh, I didn't. This is what I wrote in the page, right? So yeah, this is how, as you can, the thing is, as you can see here, uh, I was successfully able to log in as well, right? I tapped on the login button and it took me to this hello world page. So Firebase, Firebase authentication works. Cloud Firestore will also work similarly, okay? So this is one way to overcome the Android X issue that you might face while trying to bring in Firebase inside your Flutter applications. I wanted to address this today since a lot of people have been asking me saying that they are facing Android X issues whenever they try to replicate uh, what I'm doing in my uh, Flutter plus Firebase videos. So yeah, this is one way to do that, guys. So yeah, guys, uh, hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, kindly hit the thumbs up button. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and uh, click on the bell notifications icon so that you get a notification each and every time I upload a new video. And uh, so yeah, uh, that's it, guys. Subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.